Hello everyone and welcome back to the island of Hoshina and we are here with our tribes, our three tribes I really should say. We have the cactus tribe who is kind of focused right now on trying to pass on Tanu's genes with lots of spots, lots of the more like uh, blonde tan coloring. We really want to make these guys fast and lean. They're going to be our explorers to help tackle one of the most least explored sections on the island which is kind of this zone down here. And then we've also got our special little tribe over here where I'm really trying to pass on kind of uh, more gentle genetics. We're trying to pass on something that may be more around like having all white fur. I want to try to get rid of the ram horns. I want to try to have blue eyes. I just think that would be a really fun sort of genetic mix to have over here, especially if we can keep the panda pattern going. You know what? Ah, oh, I would love to see more of this kind of panda pattern over there. That's just, it's very gentle look. I like this panda pattern. So this is where little Koo Kunu has inherited the nest from his gentle parents, if you guys remember them, Marie and her mate, and they were really fun and just very gentle, so that's why we're trying to go for really gentle, kind of quiet, not so defensive, just sort of like your tiny little berry picking family who are sort of focusing on these two berry bushes right here, leaving the rest of the world to the rest of our awesome tribes to manage. Oh gosh, we're out of food, so I'm going to have to remember that. Ah oh, yes, and we were saying goodbye to Nukir Duke, who is going to possibly be passing away the next turn from old age, but he is going down fighting and going to do his best to take this carnivore with him. He is one of our strongest fighters, but as we've been clearing away the grass, it's actually been very uncommon to run into any carnivores, so we haven't really been focusing very much on making strong fighters, so hopefully losing one of our last strong warriors won't hurt our tribes. I'm really hoping that because we've explored so much and we've covered so much ground, maybe, just maybe, they'll be okay. Okay, and then back here we have the tribe that I have been absolutely obsessed over, the Swamp Tribe, and they've been doing very well lately. They're starting to pass on some genetics in their children that I really wanted to see, like the red fur has been spreading, and we finally managed to shake off the ram horns on a couple of the babies. So the very last born of Simi and her mate, uh, and hang on, I've got to get his name right. Where are you? So it was Van Duke Ta, because Van Duke Ro is his son, but Van Duke Ta and Simi and Siri passed away, and they all had a whole bunch of children, and Anacora is actually one of the very first children that they had who actually has orange fur, and so that's why I really love her. She's really cool. She has had a couple children now. I believe that Kirkir -Kir is her son, and Kirkir -Kir can move around pretty well. He happens to have the recessive gene for the poison fangs, and we're so excited that his brother, her, his sister, oh, it's a little girl, his sister Malara here, we're very excited that his sister Malara doesn't have ram horns, and his uncle Van Van doesn't have ram horns, even though if you notice, both have double double genetics on their immunity. So I wonder if not having ram horns tied in something else. I wonder if maybe the big nose gene tied in like bad immunity. Hmm, we'll have to look into that. But they got rid of ram horns and that was our big goal for, for getting the big nose so that we can try to bring out the poison fangs. So we're going to see if we can manage to pull poison fangs out from one of these two now that we have the ram horns off. As long as you have ram horns on, then the poison fangs will always be recessive to it. It won't it won't display. Uh, so we're going to have to see what we can do with them. And then we do have this little one over here, Konasi, or Konasi, yeah, uh, Konasi, who actually has the big ears that we're going for of this tribe. She's got the red fur that, we've go that we're going for for this tribe, and she has two claws. So she's actually a new warrior. She's a new tribal warrior. And I would not, whoa, sorry about that. I would not have expected her to be such a tough little tribal warrior, considering her father is this guy. Her dad is Van Duke Van, the hamster. Van Duke Van, the toxic body hamster, who I think is pretty hilarious. But so far, he's producing some pretty interesting children. So Rocco, Rocco here actually just became pregnant with the second child from Van Duke Van. And it doesn't look like she's going to live as long as I thought. I think I accidentally had her get in a fight with a carnivore or she got sick a lot when she was younger. So hopefully she'll live a little while. But if she does end up passing away, then what we might end up doing is taking Van Duke Van and 
and seeing if he and Malara had any healthy babies together. So, all right, we've got a lot of genetics to play with. We've got a lot of an island to explore. We're going to be focusing on that since we just discovered some really interesting berry bushes, kind of surprise berry bushes last time. And we have some interesting notes from the devs over on their Steam form that we can talk about today. So let's go ahead and watch our, our tough warrior possibly pass on. Oh, he's gone. That's so sad. So sad. And everybody's got the sniffles. Oh, and I accidentally hurt him. I'm sorry, Kuvan. Kuvan, forgive me. All right. So unfortunately, I think I just took out Kuvan without meaning to. We need to have lots of babies down here. <gasps> we have spotty babies. We have a spotty baby. That is 100% what I wanted. Look at the spotty child. Oh, it's so precious. So this is Cuckoo. Hi, Cuckoo. And you move quickly, too. Yes, those were my goals. Wonderful. So it looks like Tanu does have some pretty awesome children. And then over here, we have Koana. And I think Koana actually mated with Van Ducro. So she had a child with him. And it looked actually, he fits in over here pretty well. I think that's, yeah, because we have Dots as the current mutation. Dots and runner's leg as the current mutation for our little ones. Now this Vandro, he's a little fighter too. Look at him. Oh, he takes after his mom because Koana is also a big fighter. So it looks like we're not going to lose all the warriors as I thought we would. So welcome little Cuckoo. You're kind of the wrong color, but you've got the right idea with the dots. So that's really fun. So I guess Samiri and then Tanu will have a lot of awesome babies. So we're going to work on that. We lost the mother of Kirnuku, unfortunately. So yeah, Kir Kirku lost his mate. Um, I think Lasimi, maybe she can be his mate. How closely are they related? No, they're not terribly closely related, but they're not terribly like far apart either. They do share one immunity gene, but that's better than nothing. So we'll wait for her to grow up because we actually need to have a lot more babies. <laughs> we need a lot more babies because we kind of need to be able to uh, spread a lot more creatures down this way. We're losing a lot of ground since the crown or excuse me, I call them like the thorn or the cactus tribe and sometimes the throne tribe, but we're gonna go with cactus tribe because I just need to pick a name for them already. They have not had enough babies recently, so we haven't been able to spread out as we should in order to explore everything and in order to make sure we can feed everyone. Darn, I was hoping that bunny would get a little closer. So yeah, we'll have to just keep them close. There we go. And did we have another baby over here? Nope, the babies just finally got old enough. And then, oh yeah, we do have a baby from Ranala here. She kind of had a surprise baby with Kirnukir here. So we're gonna move this little one over here. Meanwhile, the swamp family is really spreading out pretty well. Oh my gosh, she has like no movement. <laughs> Koana, <laughs> oh, she takes after her hamster dad. She takes after her hamster dad, all right. All right, well, Reiko can go ahead and gather up those and then sit in the nest. So she's gonna have a baby. And then Anakora here, she actually, I think Kirin Yuku was coming for Lara, actually. That's who was going to have a baby. That's They were going to have a baby together. Okay. I remember now. We've been arranging a few marriages for a little while. Like, don't, don't be surprised. We really have been planning out some of these genetics for a long time now. Let's see. So we're going to go ahead. She is now expecting a baby. And then let's go ahead and see if we can move these babies around a little bit. And let's see, you ma'am, might as well move down here. Get ready for your next baby, you can move up there. Ressi, Ressi, you can stay here and just kind of keep an eye out for any potential, we'll scoot you over actually and have you explore over here. Any potential bunnies popping out of those burrows. Over here we have Isrico. Any of the, the creatures, the tribe members who kind of aren't the healthiest, we tend to just send down here and they can do a little bit of exploring and berry collecting. Rovan, he is okay, but he's he's kind of like just extra. The females tend to be the ones we perch next to um, the nest since they're the ones having all of the bebes. And then Kir Duke Duke, you can go ahead and move over here where you can do a little bit of exploring to make you happy. And then Kir Kir, you're gonna stay right here. I love his, his main color, that is so cool. 
And then our little Van Duke fan, he can hang out with like, I don't even know what relation that would be. Oh, and speaking of relations, there is a dev update on the Steam form. So I went over and I looked at the Steam form. There's a dev update and they talk about some of the upcoming roadmap of things that they are going to start doing for the game. They mention not only the family tree, but twins, uh, the ability to add in lots of genetics, tons of new genetics that have to do with flight and water, the ability to migrate your creatures from one island to another. So it's going to be really exciting. I'm pretty excited. They just started posting the forum post over there. Uh, I think a couple days ago, like two, maybe yesterday or the day before on the 11th and then one today. They're just being really friendly, kind of wanting to get to know a lot of the people who are in their group right now. Let's see, I think we'll send Van Duke Van Duke Row over and he can stay with Koana as his mate because he's earned it. He really has. He has earned the opportunity to have like a, a steady mate and just a steady life over here with his little baby. I'm going to scooch her over here and start having a baby there. And then Rariri, oh, I swear we've had one named Rariri before. She's got all the genetics we really want to see passed on, the gray fur and the beige mane that we want to see come into these guys over here. So we might have her go over. She might move in. Oh my gosh, there's so many bunnies. <laughs> she might move over to this tribe and join them. All right, we'll gather up. There's so many bunnies. I want all those bunnies. Gather up over here. Kuvan is about to pass away. Van Duke. Van Duke, uh, Van Taduke, actually. He might need, we're gonna have Miko come and meet with him. And then he's just gonna stay here and pick berries. Look at all the berries we've got, yes. All right, doing really good on berries. And then I'm gonna scooch her over one. All right, there we go. And so now she's expecting. And Tanu, can you help out with like berry picking? You can. So Tanu's gonna help out with some berry picking while he waits for his mate to have another baby. All right, but yeah, the devs were just being super friendly, kind of just getting to know the people who are hanging out in the Steam area. Um, and they do have a lot to say about a whole bunch of things they're working on. So I'm very excited to see where the game's gonna go from here. All right, and Van Van, what am I gonna do with you? I think I'm gonna save him. Maybe I should breed him. With somebody like Resi, no, they both have double D genes. Maybe I should breed him with one of my other females who carries recessive. Ah, uh, Rovan. Do I have two Rovans? I have two Rovans. <laughs> I have double Rovans. I didn't know that. So like kind of name twins. Okay. Didn't know that could even happen. Uh, maybe Isrico. I think we might try breeding him with Isrico because I want to see if we can get that poison fangs passed on. So maybe they can dive in. I'm going to send him over. He's going to do a little bit of exploring and we're going to see if we can find one more nest that we can take over and maybe get the poison fangs in. We really want to get poison fangs in with this particular family. All right. And I really want to make sure we keep the red fur and I would love to see some spots, some red fur and dots going on for this group over here. Or, I don't know, stripes looks really cool. I think I actually want to keep stripes for this group over here. And they're the ones about to have the babies. So we're going to swap over to stripes. So we're going to do stripes and red fur. And maybe I should... Maybe I should go ahead and try big nose again or antlers so that we can try to get rid of the, uh, I wonder if antlers, let's try antlers actually, because I want to see if maybe we can toss the antlers on and maybe antlers aren't quite as dominant as ram horns are. And then we can get the um, poison fangs to emerge. So let's see what happens. Have babies. Oh, oh, yes! <gasps> poison fangs! Yes! We've done it, you guys! We have another poison fang in the swamp! Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. You look so much like your grandpa, little guy. You have no idea. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're going to have to try that mix again. Okay, so that's Van Nukier. And that was a mix of Rolana and... Uh, here new here so he normally has babies with anacora but we finally finally managed to get a lucky go there and then over here we have another fighter oh my gosh i didn't know that the hamster would end up producing so many fighters but he has produced a strong fighter again in is nara so we'll go ahead and have is nara move over um i'm gonna have her come up oh oh, oh was that a bunny oh <gasps> that's a bunny 
Can we get close to it? Arr. No, get away, bunny. Arr. Yes. Okay, it got close. There's a little bit of bunny meat over there. Trying to come near. You can almost like stand next to the berry spots and collect up the bunnies that way. So that's interesting. All right. And then the little ones are ready to move. Good. And then you, I think I can actually... Can I go ahead and... Come on, bunny. Come on, bunny. Is there any way I can get that bunny? Like this? Oh, I did not mean to move him. Dang it. I was so focused. I got the bunny! <laughs> I was so focused on trying to figure out like where the bunny was going to move next. I didn't think all of that through. All right. We're going to go ahead and explore those cactuses. And gather up these berries. And maybe pop over here. There we go. All right. So we're making some progress. I'm pretty happy with this. We've got a couple pregnant bellies. I need to make sure not to mix up my Samiri and my Miko. Samiri, you're getting so old already. How did you... Why? Don't get so old already. You're supposed to stay young. You're supposed to stay young. All right, we're going to have her son go ahead. And he can, at a very young age, just start doing some rapid exploring. He's pretty cool. I like how he has the yellow fur and the gray fur. And that seems to give him a little bit of a different tone. They actually seem to blend together. Do you notice that? Because here we have two gray fur. And here we have the gray and the red. Oh, it does give you different tones. When you mix the two... Yeah, here's red and gray. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll have to check that out some more in the future. She's going to go ahead and plunk right here. He's going to start picking all of these berries. Maybe even doing some exploring. You can go ahead and pick all of these berries. You can get out of the way, little cuckoo. You can come over and we'll send him over to this faraway berry bush. Kunu will tell him to head over there. And we'll move her here. She can't do any berry picking. She's one of our hardcore warriors who doesn't do anything else. And we'll leave you there. Okay. I do need to send some off to start exploring in this direction more often. But we need more creatures to be able to do that. All right. And you, little Anissa. And uh, Anise. Let's see. We'll go ahead and send her deeper in. She's got the big ears, which is pretty interesting. And she's got the white fur. So we really may send her or one of her siblings over there in the future. For now, I'm going to let her do a little bit of exploring. There's a bunny. We're going to get that bunny. Um, and let's see. I need to get... Okay. Hey, Vanro. Um, he's got not the healthiest genetics, but at least he's got the spots and everything. And he also would be a good explorer. So we'll send him off. And then Koana is going to come perch over here. And Van Dukro can stay here so he can be near his mate, I think. So when she has the baby, they can have a few more babies to get some, some interesting genetics mixed in over here. All right, man, you really can start getting very, very, very in-depth with this. So we're actually going to have Van Van come over. He's going to start doing some exploring. And we might have him become mates with Izrico. And the reason that we would do that is because if we can find another nest, we could try again for those venomous fangs. But it seems like we have tossed the venomous fangs back in. I am so excited. It was gone, but I think like his grandchild came back. So Van Dukta, don't worry. Your grandchild has, has brought back the, uh, the venomous fangs. And then Rocco was going to have another baby with her little hamster husband. And then we've got a few things. Kier Kier can gather this up. Rovan. That Rovan can gather this up. Kier Duke Duke can gather these up. Oh, geez. He's so good at that. He can help out explore now that we've cleared that out of the way. Or maybe he can come over here and help explore this area. And then Laura needs a nest. We've got three pregnant females and only two nests. So this is going to get a little interesting. And Akora is a little older. So we'll wait and let her have the nest first. All right all this exploring we're doing all right and we can pick some berries plenty of berries to pick oh my gosh 24 food 24 food and, and ha huh? yeah malara i forgot how she doesn't have the little um she doesn't have the horns either she's got the big nose so she's got a good sniffer all right so everybody's good now Everybody's good now and all of these ones are now the ones who are expecting babies Oh, so let's go ahead. We're going to rotate back in the dots and I want to make sure that they possibly have dots um, since we're trying to pull that into this side of the family. And then how about dots and the gray fur? Dots and maybe fluffy tail. Oh, fluffy tail would be really fun for this group right over here. Let's throw in fluffy tail just to see what will happen. All right. Have your babies. Ding, ding, ding. 
There's a whole new line of babies. All right, so ta-da, ta-da, Duke <laughs> is over here. And, ah, oh, darn, they just do not have healthy babies over here. Healthy babies are not a thing at all. And then over here, decently healthy, Karami. And she, oh, she's got good movement and everything, too. I really love the babies that Tanyu has. He's got some interesting children. So we're going to go ahead and breed with him again. And we'll send him over here to be in charge of this berry bush. And she can explore that little spot. And then these two, Koana and Van Ducro, who is retired from the swamp, they have Du Kier Duke. So we've had some Du, du, Tier, du Kier Duke before. He's not very healthy. And he has a fluffy tail. Really? Can I see? Oh, we do have fluffy tails. I had noticed. We, we have plenty of fluffy tails. Well, I wasted that. But maybe the mutation didn't even take anyway. Um... All right, we'll just put this in here for now. There we go. All right, so that's what happened there. So let's see, three babies born. We've got a little bit of exploring going on down here. Need to gather up this food. Aha! We're starting to really get in a good groove with some of the foods. Somebody wants to make a bit of a, there we go, a bit of noise over here. So let's see me dive on in, oh boy. Oh boy, okay, she's gonna go ahead and attack. Then Ducro is going to remember his father's heroics. And he came in and he did it! He did it, you guys! Alright, done. So occasionally there are still carnivores. Important to pay attention to that. And I think that Koana is gonna go ahead and have another baby to celebrate that they survived. And then let's gather up the berries from over here really quickly. The rain really helps with that. And then gather up these berries really quickly. They had their baby. Okay, she's gonna have one more baby. I don't think Miko's gonna have many more. And this little one gets to come over by the grave of its ancestor. And now Cuckoo's in charge of taking care of the little berry bush. And then Kunu will go ahead and take care of the berry bush over here. He sees no shame in what his son does after all. They are the berry collectors and that is what they do. And our little hamster is still hanging out up there too. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm excited to have the venomous fangs back in the family too. That was a little unexpected. So I'm gonna send you over here, my dear. And let's see, he can come over here. They're gonna have another baby because that is how the venomous fangs popped in. So Van Nuke here. What am I going to do with you, little guy? I think he is going to come over and he's just going to sit by this rock for a minute until I can figure out which direction I want to send him. And we need to send many of our pregnant females. <laughs> These hamster children hardly move. The children of the hamster hardly move at all. They really, they just don't. They're, they're very, they're like tanks. They will take out anybody who messes with them. But the hamster's children really don't go anywhere. So that kind of amuses me. Resty, I think we'll go ahead and let her do a little exploring. So she can do some exploring over there. And Malara can be in charge of kind of like dual berry picking and bunny watching. And they tend to come out this way, so I'll leave them there. And then we're going to put Anacora up on the nest too. Oh geez, I forgot Laura is also pregnant. We've got so many babies! So many babies coming in for the Swamp Tribe. So, all right, let's see. Can you pick berries? Yeah, Kier Kier, I think you can go ahead and start helping out. We're gonna do like mass exploring deep in this part of the swamp because we have already, uh, we've already covered so many other things. And then is Rico, we're trying to give her a spot to go inside of the swamp. It's a bunny. We're gonna get that bunny. Uh. There we go. Okay, gonna chase it away from the berry bush over here was a lot more prolific, so that was worth defending. All right, and Ku Kier uh, Nuke Nuke, he can come up and protect this berry bush for now. And he's got some really fantastic movement, actually. Look at that, six movement. And Laura is his mate. We'll have her move up here just to remember that we're trying to work on getting her baby born. Need to find a nest, darn. And then if Rovan, one of our two Rovans gets to stay and he can chat with the hamster. All right, so I think that's good for now. And we've taken care of pretty much everything where I can collect up any food. And we'll send this little one over here, do a little exploring. Once we finish fully exploring the island, as I have mentioned, we will move on to another island. 
But I love this family, and it would be really fun to see if the save will survive from update to update. And if it will, we will follow on with the island of Hoshina and see if we can move them to a new island and what the pack would be like and what the family would be like. So I'm having a great time. The Venomous Fangs are back in the tribe with the green eyes, no less. We just need to kind of perfect the color of the fur on this guy. And then we'll have our archetype for wanting to keep this little tribe going. Also, we want to try to get the toxic body in just to see if we could too. That would be pretty fun. And we'll start working on some of our other tribe perfect genetics. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.